it's time to check for print readiness. So I'm going to walk through each of the sheets and look at the specifics. I provided the instructions for you, but we can still look it up anyway. And I'll start by using our page layout, page setup navigation, and check to see that it is a portrait page. It's not adjusted at all. And it has standard headers for us. And it has standard footers for us. So there shouldn't be any mystery to that one there. I'm not going to show that navigation anymore as I look through the next several sheets. The balance sheet, again, I will go to the page layout page setup and show you it too is landscape at 100. And it too has our standard header and our standard footer. But if we change our view to be page break preview, you can see it's intentionally broken at the bottom of total liabilities. And so it should print onto two pages. It also, because of that fact, again, under page layout, page setup, if we look at the sheet tab, we are repeating row one up there. And all you have to do is put into that box and you click on that row. And then that's why we will have our row header on top of each page. Change my view back to normal. And then let's print preview, just that active sheet. And this is that row that we're talking about right up there across the top and then page one and then page two. And notice we have that header on both pages and that's the end of our balance sheets. Our income statements, let's do the same. Page layout, page setup, it is landscape. It's also at 100, our header and footer, again, file and tab. And this time we've been just using for page number on the bottom, the word page and then the page number there. And so no mystery on there. And because this one only prints out onto one page, we can have this on here, but it doesn't really help or hurt us because it's really only one page. And that happened when we copied and pasted the page from before. So we can leave it because it's not an obstacle. Going to statement of cash flows, looking at it again, header footer here, same as before, same as before. Sheet tab should also be landscaped. Sorry, page tab is landscaped. Sheet tab is also, this one does have two pages to it. So when you do print preview at that row one right there, should appear on both of them. Reminder too, as you're doing this, there are several lines on each of the pages that are highlighted in bold, like that one there. And I believe when we looked at all of these, 50 was the column width for A on balance sheets, income statements, and statement of cash flows. And then these years were all at 15 for statements of cash flows, income statement, and balance sheets as well. For the analysis tab, if we take a look at it first in our print preview view, notice we do have a lot of numbers in italics. I don't need you to put them in italics, but I have them there so that you knew that they were either calculations or polls. But we do have at least our formatting set up here. I believe we're again at 50 in column A and we are in 15 in uh, columns B through E. If we look at page layout, page setup, it too is landscape. And this one we do have at 100% and it should fit on one page only. And we have header, standard, and footer, standard. Lastly, then the graphs tab has no columns and rows, so you don't have to worry about that per se. You want to, of course, make sure from the last video, it looks exactly like mine. And if you print preview it, notice we have a header up top that is just the file name. We don't have the word graph on there because it's obvious that we have a graph in front of us. So when you go to your page layout, page setup, just make sure on the header footer, all you have is file up top, and then the custom footer is the same. And then that way, if we print preview the entire workbook, we should have eight pages instructions, two and three balance sheets, four income statements, five and six statements of cash flows, seven the analysis tab, and then finally eight our graph. If we are to save that as a PDF in the entire workbook, and then go ahead, I'm going to put this one onto my desktop. And when you set this up, you might want to check in your settings because mine is set up to auto display this after it's done. So now I see my eight tabs or my eight page PDF. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I particularly love about these in here is look at how perfect everything is, how the header stays in the same place, how the columns stay in the same place, how everything just looks synchronized and uniform. And then by the time we get here, we get some visual design and then we finish with strong visuals. So there's everything you need for print rate, rate print readiness for this assignment. Hope you enjoyed these videos for assignment two, and I'll be doing more of them going forward. Thanks for watching.